Thank you all for coming. Please take a seat. We're about to start. Thank you so much. Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, we have about 30 seconds before the program starts. Uh, thank you. Thank you, everyone. Uh, before I get started with my uh, quick remarks, uh, once again, I'm telling you, I cannot hide my excitement to to be here with you today. Uh, it is great to stand here and see the faces of friends and supporters and, and leaders uh, of our community. It's uh, really a dream that came through. There is so much positive things happening here for us and for our Houston community. The future is bright. Thank you all for being here. Uh, good afternoon and welcome again. Uh, my name is Arturo Manchuca. I am the director of Houston Spaceport and Ellington Airport. I want to thank you all for being here today as we celebrate the groundbreaking uh, of uh, Axiom's new headquarters. First, of course, I want to say congratulations to our Axiom partners. It's been a busy year for you guys. With the historic launch of Axiom, of Axiom Mission 1, you've taken a fully private crew to the International Space Station and surely secure your place in the history books. Mike Zafardini and the entire Axiom team, I know how hard you guys work to do everything that you do. I know how hard you have uh, worked to get to this point and we, we have the chance to celebrate. And I want to say thanks for all you do. On behalf of the Spaceport tenants, industry partners, and the educators and in the Houston community, let me just say how incredibly excited we are to welcome you to the Houston Spaceport. The innovation and expertise that you bring to this campus is a tremendous benefit to us all. Next month, we'll mark our seventh anniversary as a licensed commercial spaceport. And in that short time, we have become a spaceport at the very heart of our nature, a nation's commercial space, uh, endeavors with uh, planetary activities, low Earth orbit, and lunar activities happening here. Who could imagine that in less than seven years was going to happen? I'll tell you, not many. Just those leaders that have had the vision to, to stay put, right, and lead ahead were able to do it. And, of course, uh, you guys um, have been supportive of all this these past years.
Thank you. Today, with this uh, groundbreaking and the addition of Axiom Space, we begin the greatest phase yet in American commercial spaceflight together. Now, uh, we have a number of distinguished guests who will share some brief remarks today. But first, please help me welcome the man that makes hard things seem easy. A proud Houstonian and a perfect commercial spaceflight advocate, our Mayor Sylvester Turner. Thank you, Mayor. Well, look, let me start off by saying good afternoon, Arturo. Thank you so very, very much. Uh, let me start off by acknowledging a few people. Uh, before, I, before I get started, I certainly want to acknowledge the Council General of Norway. It's good to have you with us uh, today. Thank you so very, very much. Look, we happen to be in District E, and the Mayor Pro Tem, who I know is beaming from one ear to the other, top to bottom, give it up to our Mayor Pro Tem, Dave Martin. Then Council Member Sally Alcorn, Vice Mayor Pro Tem Martha Castec Tatum, Council Member David Robinson, all here, thank you. And then Council Member Abby Kamen, thank you so very much. And then from the legislature, uh, State Representative Dennis Paul, where's Den State Representative Dennis Paul? Good to see you, former colleague of mine. And then we have representatives from the office of United States Senator John Cornyn, uh, United States Senator Ted Cruz, the office of Congressman Troy Nams, Congressman Brian N uh, Babin Babins, Congressman Randy Weber, and Congresswoman Sylvia Garcia. Please give it up to all of them. I do want to acknowledge also Brenda Hellyer from the San Jacinto College. Where's, where's Brenda? There you are, Chancellor. And then many department heads, there are some department heads that surprised me by showing up. You know, they couldn't miss. But I do want to acknowledge the Chief Economic Development Officer who's been very instrumental on this, Andy Eakin. There's Andy right there. And I'm going to be talking about Mario Diaz in a little bit. Look, we stand here today on a very special day uh, to celebrate a milestone in expanding our position as a space city. Uh, now, even the Astros have got the space city uniforms. Uh, the grounds we are standing on will become a key location for members of the aerospace community to come together and facilitate collaboration and innovation. This groundbreaking will pave the way to the new home of the world's first commercial space uh, station builder, Axiom Space. Mike, again, thank you so very, very much. Before I go any further, uh, let me just welcome and recognize Michael Superintendi, President and Chief Executive Officer of Axion Space. Give it up to this guy one more time. <laughs> Michael, congratulations to you, your team, and the astronauts uh, for Axiom's first successful mission to orbit. What an amazing success that was. And also Mario Diaz, Director of Aviation for the City of Houston and the visionary behind the Houston Spaceport. Please give it up to Mario Diaz. We are fortunate to have the support of a contingent of federal, state, and local officials, and we want to thank them all for being here today. As we celebrate this occasion, let's not forget the many people and great moments in this city's space history that have gotten us to where we are today. And let's not forget the work being done right now that will propel us to the future as a leader in aerospace. Axiom Space is breaking ground on its 22-acre headquarters right here at Houston Spaceport. Axiom will train astronauts and build the world's first free-flying internationally available private space station that will serve as humanity's central hub for research, manufacturing, and, and commerce in low Earth orbit. When it comes to first in space, I can't think of a city mentioned more in the history books, a word more synonymous with space than Houston. As space exploration has evolved, our city has grown with it, rising to the challenges to push the boundaries of the final frontier. And that mission 
advances right here in the Houston spaceport. Today, Houston celebrates the groundbreaking of Axiom Space Flight Training and Assembly Headquarters, where the teamwork of some of the brightest minds in the world will take place. Axiom Space joined the other uh, anchor tenants currently building at the Houston Spaceport, and together with other future ventures, they will establish the core hub for aerospace innovation. Collins Aerospace, producer of space suits, life support systems, and many other aerospace applications, is close to competing their building, as you can see, and Fred told me it will should be done in August. Is that right, Fred? Good, I'm going to hold you to it. Intuitive Machines, which is building the Nova Sea uh, spacecraft and will deliver cargo to the moon in just a few months, is also making great progress in their de on their development. And three, all three of these companies play a complementary role at the spaceport. While we celebrate the start of Axiom Construction today, we acknowledge that the buildings and innovations are all fueled by people. The this partnership will bring opportunities to both our experienced workforce, many of whom have left lasting legacies at NASA, to our young people who have dreams of following in their footsteps. As Axiom grows into its campus here at the spaceport, so will its need, in, in need for the next generation of workers. Once completed, this partnership will bring more than a thousand high paying jobs to this facility where we will be breaking ground today. Give it up to them again for the job creation. We'll need engineers, scientists, mathematicians, machinists, and many others. These high paying jobs of the future will both tap into Houston's readied workforce of talent along with the next generation of workers. We have one of the highest concentration of engineering talent in the nation with nearly 2,000 engineers per 100,000 workers. And Houston is also home to 500 companies who work involves aircraft or space vehicle manufacturing, research and technology, or other air transportation activities. And so we are well on our way. Now let me say a few words about our next speaker, the CEO of Axiom Space, Mike Supentini. Did I get that name right? Is that close? Okay, I learn more when I'm up in space. Mike, Mike is the former program manager of NASA's International Space Station. He now leads a world-class team of experts at Axiom Space Development, the world's first commercial destination in orbit, to realize the vision of a, of a thriving home in space that benefits all of humanity. We've talked about some other things, Mike, that you want to do, some bigger plans for the city of Houston. We are all, we are all in, and we are so very grateful for what is already taking place right here at Space Forward. So please help me welcome Axiom Space President and CEO, Michael Zufantini, and he will be followed by Airport Director, Mario Diaz. Good afternoon. Uh, thank you all for being here. Um, uh, Mayor Sylvester Turner, first, you've been awesome. Mario had a vision, but if it hadn't been for the city and the city council, we, we wouldn't even be here today. So my thanks go to you for that. Also, I do need to, to say a few words about Arturo. Arturo sits there and, and just does everything uh, while, while the rest of them have visions of good ideas and stuff. And, and uh, Arturo's the one that that makes them happen. So uh, my thanks to you as well. And the Bay Area Houston, where, where are you at, Bob? Bob, right there you go, Bob. Bay Area Houston Economic Partnership. Uh, they played no small role in, in helping us get to this point as well. So I got to say, back in, uh, well, let's just say 39 years ago, I came to this city uh, to, uh, to start uh, my job, my career in uh, human space flight. Uh, and, uh, and during that time, it was kind of interesting because I began sort of in operations. I was in training. And uh, over the years, I kind of moved to different jobs in human space flight. But somewhere along the way, it became very clear that here in Houston, we have all the engineers that design spacecraft. We have all the operations guys that operate spacecraft. 
we, and I'm talking about human spacecraft now, we have all the astronauts, um, we have all the mission planners, uh, but we don't build human-rated spacecraft here in Houston. Uh, so when we started this company back in 2016, myself and Dr. Cam Gaffarian, the first thing we said is, right here in the city of Houston is where we're going to build spacecraft, and we're going to complete the whole uh, circle, if you will, of, uh, of development and flying uh, in space with humans. And, and we're not really exploring anymore. We're pioneering. We're off to go settle uh, space. Uh, that's, a, that's a huge, huge thing to go do. Uh, we're well on our way, as the mayor said. Um, AX1 was, uh, was wildly successful. Right after that, we signed with, uh, with UAE um, so to uh, do uh, the, the first, uh, everything we do nowadays is the history's first, so we'll do it again. 180-day mission, uh, so that was a very big, big deal. And then I'm off now to go sign for two seats for another international cust customer right after this. So we're going great guns. Uh, we cannot do it without a superior and talented workforce, and that workforce can't do it with a superior uh, facility, and that's what Ellington Field represents to us. Right here, back here behind you, uh, right on top of the runway, is going to be uh, the first thing you'll see go up is our high bay. Uh, today in the city of Houston, we don't have a, a building big enough uh, to build the modules that make up our space station, and so the first step is to build that. And of course, the manufacturing buildings that go around that to help us finish assembly. The, the shells will show up here on this runway. The airplane will back up to our spacecraft. We have this running roll here if you want to see what that's all about. And then we will build out the spacecraft here, put everything inside, everything on the outside, test it, check it out, get it ready to go uh, in these new facilities that we have right here. And from there, we'll stick it right back on a big airplane and, and fly it to, to Florida to be launched. All of this is only possible with a facility like this in a location like this in Space City. This is the place to do it. This is where we're going to do it. And we're only able to do it uh, because the city of Houston stood up and said, hey, we want to play in a meaningful way. And so my deepest gratitude to you, uh, Mayor Turner, again, and to you, Mario, and Arturo, and the city council. Thank you so much for giving us this opportunity. We will make you proud. We're, we're, uh, we have about 450 people in our workforce today. By the end of this year, we'll be at 800 people. Uh, by the end of next year, we'll be well over, we used to think we were going to get 1,000. By the end of next year, we'll be about 1,300 people, and we expect wild growth. So right now, we've got 22 acres. We're going to talk to the mayor, Mario, about expanding that because the building's going to have to be a lot bigger. So uh, anyway, thank you all very, very much. So I want to I want to introduce our next uh, our next speaker. Uh, we've all talked about him, uh, but we can't say enough about Mario Diaz. Not way before I ever knew him, he helped set up this whole idea of a Houston spaceport, um, which is really this is the place to have a spaceport, right? So we're we're happy to to be at the the real spaceport in my mind. Uh, and this was the vision uh, uh, that he had that he's pushed forward for years, and we're excited to be an anchor tenant here. But please welcome Mario to the stand. Thank you, Mike, and thank you all for joining us today. You know, I, I, I need to point out something. Mike makes a very, very good point. So at the top of an organization, you have an executive, and sometimes we're called visionaries, sometimes we're called strategists, sometimes other things. Um, but. It's the people underneath. It is the people that are on the front lines that execute. And ideas, strategies, visions are worthless unless you have a group, a dedicated um, group of people that can execute. So the very first thing that I would like to do is all my staff that is here today, please stand and be recognized. These are the individuals that have made this happen. And I'm really very, very proud of them. And of course, our Chief Development Officer, the support of Annie has been instrumental, as, as well as the mayors, in making all this happen. So, um, you know, I then want to start off by recognizing and saluting Axiom for its mission one. I mean, just a, a, a phenomenal success um, and that will continue to grow and advance 
commercial space exploration right here at the Houston Spaceport. We are thrilled to see Axiom Space begin construction and join our rapidly growing Houston Spaceport family. It's going to be a very busy economic development year for sure. Now, we talk about vision, we talk about strategy, our vision. We started with the vision um, it, for the Spaceport is very clear. We want to create and bring together a cluster of aviation and aerospace enterprises that will drive the transition from a federally sponsored space program to a commercially successful aerospace industry that will support the future of commercial space flight right here in Houston. Now, I, I want to make a very important point about why the spaceport. And it is this, uh, aside from 2010, you may recall um, the, um, the uh, federal credit card was tapped out and the president at the time said no more uh, of these flights into space with the space shuttle. And there was doom, there was a lot of hand wringing here in Houston. And where others see sadness, we see hope. We see opportunity, and we decided to make a, the Houston Spaceport. But why? Why the Spaceport? And it's simply this. Um, when we reflect back on 2011, we understood that Houston was Space City, but in large part name only. Yes, we led in mission control, of course. We led in communications, yes. And, of course, space, uh, spacecraft tracking. But when it came to manufacturing, not so much. And we learned that the hard way when we went, competed with another city in another state that had real manufacturing power. They were a manufacturing, to this day, our manufacturing powerhouse. We went to visit them. They were very gracious in receiving us, and we learned a lot from them, and we realized that a spaceport was not about flights. It was not about rockets taking off or jets taking off. It was about what kind of economic development, what kind of manufacturing, what kind of companies could you bring to, um, to the forefront and create this cluster. And so um, what we started to do was to make sure we understood that we didn't build rockets. We didn't build systems or subsystems. Um, our strength was really Johnson Space Center and uh, NASA. So we decided that we would put an assemblage of companies together that would bring to Houston those elements of manufacturing. Collins, intuitive machines, and Axiom do just that. And there are more on the way. Not to be discussed today, but um, as the mayor has said, there's a lot more. And as um, Mike Sufredini, Mr. Sufredini has said, we're already in discussions about expansion. That's how well things are going. Now, Axiom Space complements its neighbors in creating a key hub of manufacturing excellence here in Houston. Collins Aerospace has been equipping space missions for the last half century and will can be an integral part of space missions to come. Intuitive Machines is developing and testing the propulsion systems that will enhance our endeavor to return to the moon. These companies have secured a place not just in the spaceport, but in the history of space missions to come. Together, the nucleus will create opportunities for additional suppliers and workforce growth that will be very, very important in growing the airspace ecosystem here in Houston. Now, as Axiom uh, Space completes its campus, as does Collins and does tour the machines, our workforce must be ready to seize on the opportunities that will spring from this extraordinary and crucial undertaking. We recognize the importance of education and hands-on training. We're pleased to partner with San Jacinto College in developing the talent of the future. The EDGE Center offers unmatched aerospace training and a pathway to careers in the aerospace industry under the guidance of instructors who are at the top of their field. We also recognize the importance of partners with other key institutions, such as Rice University, with whom we partner, Texas A&M, Texas Southern University, and University of Houston Clear Lake, among others, to expand the breadth of training right here in our backyard. These partnerships for workforce development will ensure Axiom Space and other tenants here at the Spaceport have a ready group of top talent to recruit from right here in Houston. Now, I want, I want you to look around. 
Remember this moment as you are witnessing the next milestone of growth of Axiom Space, the Houston Spaceport, and our great city in the history of space exploration. Thank you all for sharing this moment with us. And now I'm going to turn it over to Augusto, who is going to lead us through the actual groundbreaking ceremony. Thank you again. And glad you're here. Thank you all for coming. Now we're going to do the groundbreaking. Members of the press, please, if you want to move your cameras over here. Mayor 
Turner. Please, just a little closer, gentlemen. Thank you so much. Appreciate you. Thanks, gentlemen. Haley. Haley. Oh, oh, oh. Hey. Took a picture of that. You recognize her? Oh, so sorry. I'm not